Got one. Son of a mother, I had one. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about our camping trip to Sutton Campground near Florence, Oregon. And the campground is near a whole bunch of different lakes. Uh, Sutton a whole Lake. Bunch. <laughs> Sutton Lake. Being one of them, oddly enough, the campground is not on the lake. Uh, it's within hiking distance, but there's not really a lot of lake access where the hike ends. You'd have to drive and enter in from a different yeah, area. Yeah, I think you really need to be a boat on Sutton Lake because there's a lot of private residences around it also on the main lake. Yes. Uh, next financial project for Broadheads and Bobbers is buying kayaks. Yes, we will be doing that. So the campground itself is, um, I don't know how many sites, it's huge actually. There's four different loops and each loop has maybe 20 campsites on it and it's got bathrooms with flushing toilets, potable water, and um, a bunch of group campsites that are pretty cool. If you have a bunch of people you want to go camping with, you can rent the group sites. And pretty much every group site I saw is like on the creek, and you'd have your own private fishing spot on the creek. Yeah, I really think we should do that. We have our wake up and just fish. Yeah, the spot we got was right next to a trail, and we could yeah, hike a bit. You can see us on right now. Yeah. We, we took a little hike and there was a little fishing area. It was a, a one one person spot, but we fished there. Uh, each of us, he caught a fish. I got a bite and almost caught a fish. Which you'll see on the video. <laughs> uh, but pretty cool little, little fishing spot. And so here's us doing the Sutton Creek loop kind of loop trail but we ended up going to the road and which you can see right here us coming out on the road we eventually take the road all the way back to camp. You can go down to the beach but uh, between I think it's like May and end of September or maybe April and end of September there's endangered birds nesting on the beach so you cannot take your dogs down there and if you're a human you have to take the trail straight down to the wet sand and you can only walk there you cannot walk on the dry sand so we decided we didn't really want to go on that beach because we had our dogs here's us going out to the little walkway that goes it says it goes to the beach but it actually goes out on a point where you can't see the beach because the dunes are too high uh, but it's really pretty anyway you can see the creek it was windy out there you can see the wind blowing it was yeah it was always windy out there yeah, but it felt it's really good. Nice. Yes, it was nice. It was really hot. Back, back here in the valley, it's been really hot. So out on the coast this time of year was really nice. We had that little heat wave that everybody probably remembers. That's us coming back. Oh, this is our first time taking the dogs to the beach, ever. This was one of the access points from Florence, so we just drove to a little parking lot. Pretty much all the public access parking lots have fees. Um, What's but cool, now they have a little app, and I got the app, and we can just put in the number and pay the thermosel. We're filming our dirty table. Our dirty table? It's not that dirty, it's just cluttered with stuff that we're going to be using to make some good, good old hamburgers later. And uh, a recap of our day, we did a three mile walk loop, which you'll, you'll see, and, uh, and then we went to the beach. And we're on to the next adventure. So uh, yeah, be prepared if you're gonna be parking anywhere. A lot of the lakes, the parking lots have fees as well. So be prepared to, to pay for parking in a lot of the places around there that you might wanna go.
to a stickery. Got one. Honestly, that's not bad. So we measured him on the cooler, and he's 11 inches. So. And I've been informed I'm cleaning him and wrapping him in tin foil and cooking him in the fire today. This is what's going down here. Broadheads and bobbers, rainbow trout. We got some uh, French Perry Gardens savory salmon seasoning we're gonna try it on trout. What else do you do when you're sitting at a camp with fire? You sit in a chair and stare at the fire. I got one of your chair breaks coming up here. That's funny. That's funny. you. No, actually, you're sitting in it. Uh uh. But it, but you sat in it right after. It's funny. You all you have to wait to see. Oh, I sat in it right after because I thought we could save it, but then it didn't. Right, work. but I got a video of you. Yeah, you'll see. Pretty much picked well. it clean, it's gone. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're like, you like it, baby? Yeah, who was it? actually that seasoning? Ooh, it was bomb. Oh, and this. I'm stuck. I'm falling all the way to the ground. I'm You're falling. falling all the way to the ground? Ah. Oh, we lost the chair. One chair down. And this is me going the next morning in with uh, Lila into the little uh, place by the group camping area, which we couldn't go after that because people came into it. But I think this place I promised, I didn't get no bites, but it looks like a really good hole. I just think it needed to be fished more. I didn't get no bites. Yeah, I'll make a fun of my talk, I know. I'm a little southern sometimes, guys. Oh, and that breakfast. Ooh, breakfast. I want breakfast right now. And this is the day we went to uh, Three Lakes Total. This was total. the day, yeah. So we went to Soquel Lake, which we're going to right here. Which, talk about so close to the Uh So I think they have like 13 different species of fish and it's the only lake on the Oregon coast where coho salmon yes. actually come into that lake and breed. And you cannot the, keep them. It's also the largest coastal lake. Yeah. Hands down, it's the largest. Well, we really needed a boat to be on there. So like we said, we're yeah. going to get kayaks or we're going to get a canoe. I, I, I want to get a canoe so we can take the doggies on it. but. Yeah, we need to get a canoe out on these lakes, and I think we'll have a, start having a lot better success. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, because Mark loves to interrupt me, 
Uh, 13 different species of spis, of spis, <laughs> 13 different species of fish, uh, from warm water fish, bluegills, perch, bass, and then cold water fish, trout, different kinds of trout, and then the coho salmon. Um, but I think they do stock it with some rainbow trout, uh, but yeah, we didn't have any luck, like Mark was saying. A boat would have been really nice. It's a really large lake, and we only honestly stopped at one dock, so there's lots of different places we could have gone. Uh, we opted to go to some different lakes instead. And there's a cool guy that was down here putting together a boat that he had built. He had never sailed it, actually, before, and it's, it's pretty interesting. You're going to hear him talk as he goes by here, so we'll let him go by, and you'll hear it. Huh. Hey, it's working. Yeah, you're catching some wind. I'm not sure how long we're going to be here, but if we are, we will. Yeah. Well, I can always just sail in and pull up the rudder. Oh, yeah. And hop out. Oh, right. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. And the rudder's got a little cheeks so I can fold it up. Oh, cool. This was a, a Chesapeake light craft, so it's designed for the Chesapeake Bay. Oh, okay. You know, you crab, you clam, you catch some right. bottom fish, and then you pull into the... Um, you should have heard this guy before he got That's his boat cool. together, though. It was hilarious. Yeah. He's over there cussing up a storm, trying to figure out what the heck to do. He had to leave the boat, <laughs> get in <laughs> his, go to yeah. his car, find the manual. He came back at one point. His knot came undone and he drifted away and he's yelling at us for help to get him back to the dock. It was really funny. funny. <laughs> so we're, now we're at Cleox Lake and we're walking up to it. And from what I read on ODFW, it's one of the most stocked lakes in Oregon. They stocked like 10,000 fish in the spring, and I think there was like 700 trophy fish or something. So I'm assuming a lot of people like to go here and fish. It's a really small lake, but I think we really needed, like these other lakes, we really needed a canoe or a kayak to get out on it to really do some serious fishing. That and they stock it in the spring, so... We when there's fish, a, really a, fished out? Like a lot of lakes, when they only stock it at one point, yeah. If people know when it's stocked, it gets fished out really yeah. fast. Of course, there's still fish in there, but are they the fish that are biting? Probably right, not. Right. Uh, of course, and then also you can only take your dogs on certain parts of that lake, so we are pretty confined because we have right. the dogs with us. Um, but there's a cool dune and a nice swimming area, so lots of things to do at that lake. And then here's me showing you some of the empty camping sites from the next day because they were all full, then some were empty, then people were coming, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys. There's some really cool big sites here at, at Sutton Campground. It's a, it's a great place with all the trails around it, and I would highly recommend it. It's one of the best campsites I've ever been to. Yeah, I think it's only like 24 bucks a night. Yeah, I showed the sign later on in the video, but yeah, it's 24 bucks and $7 per extra car. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. they got great sites for RVs, and there's a sign for the bears. The, we were in bear country, and there was a bear sighting like two years ago there, but $24. Oh yeah, these are cool. They have native uh, carnivorous plants and you can walk through this little boardwalk that they made and view these carnivorous plants in their natural environment. So that was pretty cool. Uh, here's a really fast walk that we were doing. Just kidding. We, 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 were, heading walk that fast. we were heading to Sutton Lake. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna go to the lake. Just to get right ahead into the bridge. We end up talking to dude you're gonna hear here. So, under Highway 101. So this is cool. Hi, right, how's it going? Yeah, it's a hot one today. It's nice. It's nice today. It's hot. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice big one. Yeah. Well, I've been, I started out of that in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, like two months ago. Oh, oh damn, yeah. doing the trip. That's cool. Crazy. So I, I give myself a, a break every now and then. Oh, yeah, yeah I would imagine. Found a couple beers and just find something. There you go. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Water. Were you heading to any place in particular or just going around? Um, I don't know. I grew up on 101 and I kind of like 101. I just, yeah. I just did like two weeks on the, uh, the Oak Canal section of 101. 
Oh, cool. So between Buffalo State Park and uh, you know, Port Townsend is? Yeah. Port Townsend, yep, yep. Port Wharton? Yep, yep. So Point Wilson Lighthouse at the end of Port Wharton? Right, right. So You're I just okay, been, Lila. I've just been doing all my old old spots that I know. Nice. Very cool, man. Yeah. Well, cool. Have a good one. All right, so here's us coming upon Sutton Lake. It's actually a smaller part of Sutton Lake, but it's a public uh, boat launch that actually was closed, and we can tell why the the cement was all cracked down below on the boat launch part. So. Yeah, and this wooden dock itself was sketchy. But it looks like a good bass fish. I think this would be a good bass fishing spot if you were actually doing it from this little dock. I, I kind of we never went back and did it, but I I think it might be an okay spot if you were to seriously spend a bunch of hours there. Yeah, I really think you need. A boat. So Sutton well, Lake is weird. Like lakes. Sutton Lake is almost like two lakes joined by a creek in the middle. And that was just like one little offshoot. That portion might have been oh, good, like man made. I made some bomb ass. Thanks Bobby Flay. I learned this recipe from him. Although Minus I the Kraft American cheese. It was Velveeta. It was, Val it was Velveeta actually. Yeah anyway. But it was amazing. That was all we had. Camping cheese. <laughs> This is what happens when Laura has one too many white claws. And this is Laura fishing, so we'll be quiet here because you're going to hear some fun stuff here in a minute. Oh, son of a mother, I had one. Yeah. All right, and so it ends. <laughs> 